You like trackers? Chat? The Great Tracker Wars of 2021. However, it is cool, and I understand the utility of the tracker. Um, and... My mods can actually update the tracker live. I, not for every item, but for most of them. So, I just want to give a quick shout out to Emo Tracker for being amazing. Um, Vinny, can you move the tracker to the left? What, what do you think? Where do you want it to be? You want it there? Does that work better? Yeah? Alright. Probably works better for chat purposes, right? Why doesn't it fit perfectly, though? That's weird. I thought it did before. It doesn't. Why is there, like, that little space? It's kind of lame. It was fine before you moved it. No, it was cutting off the screen. Anyway, I'm doing this tonight instead of VR because I didn't have a chance to set up VR. The weather was so nice. I went and did stuff today. Drove around, hung out with a friend, you know, stayed outside for a while. Like, it was nice to go enjoy nice weather. It was, like, really good to do that, finally. Um, so, so anyway, VR probably tomorrow. Let me just double check that the trackers are all good. Yeah, it looks, looks like it's about right. There's going to be a little gap on the bottom there, but whatever. So yeah, anyway, um, hi. I just was in the mood to do some Wind Waker, and now that we got the tracker working... I think, um... Oh. It's going to be even better. There we go. Drop a gray rectangle. Fill the gap with a high-quality image. You want a high-quality image over there? Alright. Hmm. That image does not work. Mm. I don't think we're gonna get an image that really, like, works there, unless someone wants to make one. Stretch speed, Luigi? No. Don't go to sleep yet, Tingle. The fun has only just begun, as they say in the Navy. There we go. Now, there could be a whoa, wharf? Yeah, that's cool. Throw a wharf. That doesn't help at all. I think it's pretty good. I'll throw a wharf in there real quick. And we have room for one more image too, so I'll just throw this in there too. I still think that this isn't the highest quality Image imagery that could go here, but Vinny, I have no idea how to manipulate the map. Um, I wouldn't worry about that. I'll take care of that. 
I can click. I can stop being a lazy twat and do it myself. It's fine. No, you can't either. No? I can kind of, uh, if I go into settings, I can do dungeons. And it'll show me which dungeons I can do. So, you know, there's, there's ways to go about this. It'll, like, if I need a, a hint, I can use the map. Yeah, I use this for Majora's Mask and for Link to the Past, so I... I have experience with trackers, but I just... At one point yesterday, I was like, why do I need that? I'm not really doing this for anything other than my own enjoyment, but it, it actually could be helpful. The Mario spin is distracting. All right, what do you want then? Be careful what you wish for, chat, because you might get Turtle Club. <laughs> You must- you must be very careful when wishing for... Yes, see now you get Turtle Club. What? It was one guy? No, it was- it was all chat. Listen, if someone makes something for that space, like that says vine sauce or something, I'll put it there. But until then... You know, there's gonna be Turtle Club. Anyway, this, this speed run's gonna take forever. This is one of my famous slow speed runs. I'm a very professional streamer, I have a tracker, I've got Turtle Club. You could put a timer down there. Nah. Again, it's not a speed run. I, I was. <laughs> this is kind of joking. You forgot the picto box on the tracker. Um. Dave, do you want to give that a shot? See if you can add picto box. It should be a progressive picto box as well. Figuring it out. Oh, okay. Oh my god. It's like ghosts and goblins all over again. Can you make up lore as to why Tingle was jailed in Windfall Island? Just for existing. Like his face was so tingly that they had to they had to jail him. And so the story goes that my Tingle, who is Tingle Prime, owns a cabana and found out that his clone, who he was using for manual labor, was captured, decided to rescue him, and then was like, you know what, fuck it, I'll stop Ganon while I'm at it. After getting a number of gooey, sticky items, he decided, well, maybe there are more riches in this world that I can go for. Like, it's it's kind of almost a Wario thing. And Tingle has a lust for rupees. Most of his games... Most of his games... Um, his own wretched games have a, a rupee focus.
Isn't this randomized the realization of your proposed Zelda game, your Breath of the Wild stream, where Ganon tricked Tingle to collect the Triforce before Link did? I don't remember that bit because that was almost four years ago, but yeah, it could be that, sure. Look at this. What is this item? Ryan, look out! It's a, it's Stewie Griffin. No, it's got to fit the exact. There you go, Dave. You got it. It's got to fit the exact specifications. Vinny, watch the clip. After I beat this dungeon. Remind me, I'll watch it. It's a really good way to telegraph that you need to use the, the, that big sword, and that you can even pick up enemy stuff. Well, you know that early. From the Forbidden Fortress, Forsaken Fortress. Vinny, did you not set the dungeons to random, or is this the first one by coincidence? Um, this is coincidence because the items I got were perfect for this dungeon. This is a very tingly weapon. Vinny, I'm disappointed you let chat bully you into a tracker. Um, chat doesn't really bully me into very much. The tracker ends up being pretty useful, and... Dave and my mods can control it without me having to use it. <laughs> Vinny, tell me which charts you have. I don't know. Uh, I don't think there's an option for charts. Wait, what charts do I have? Um, fuck, man, I have no idea. You know what? Tingle and the Turtle Club guy really could be, like, buddies. They could hang out. You know who else they could hang out with? The Backwards Man. Which Christopher Nolan watched Freddy Got Fingered, and when he got to the Backwards Man part, the Backwards Man, the Backwards Man, that's when he got the idea for Tenet. that someone put Tenet on the GBA. Mm, I didn't know that. Like the Shrek movie? You probably would understand just about as much of it as if you had seen it in the theater. I do want to watch that movie again at some point, but, um... I'm not planning on and on The problem is I feel like that movie demands your complete attention and gives little back. Even if you do fully pay full attention to the movie, it still doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Um that's my hypothesis. I didn't really care for the movie that much. I liked it more than I didn't like it. But I still feel like I feel like it's a movie you really need to pay attention to, and even then, you're still gonna struggle with it. Unless you're a genius, in which case, chat, are you geniuses? Have you seen the movie? You know, write in at this web zone. I don't care, at Gmail. Um... I don't know, it's at least a fun movie to look at. 
I still remember a lot of the set pieces. Pattinson was good. I should watch it on the GBA. I wonder if I could stream it. If I use the GBA version. It counts as a video game. Doesn't? Oh. Half of the movie was just Pattinson in a suit walking in the city explaining the plot. What? I'm sorry, plot? Someone said, just like Inception. Oh, Deku Leaf. All right, well... I, I needed this. Obviously, it's a progression item. It's a progression item. It's rewarding to go through a dungeon and get a good item. Made a corner image. All right, cool, thanks. It's a good one can use this. Nice work. Okay, here we go. But yeah, Inception, I feel, worked really well. Even if it was confusing for some people, but you get, like, a good amount of... It, it's it's top-loaded. You know, there's a lot of exposition pretty quickly. But I feel like, overall, Inception is a lot easier to get. Tenet, you could rack your brain around, and then you can still not really know who started what, who gave what to who, when... I mean, I'm sure someone's mapped it out with charts. I'm sure there's plenty of flow charts and graphs, but I, I mean, like, upon watching the movie a couple times, Tenet does not make a whole lot of sense to me. But maybe I just need to see it again. Is it true that they mixed the movie again so that you can hear what the actors are saying? Because that was a real fucking problem. They didn't do that. Robert Pattinson said in an interview he had to ask the other actors what the movie was about because he found the plot too confusing. Do, do you think the other actors knew what it was about? Alright, I understand. Listen, I, I get it. The turtle guy is a little annoying. A little annoying. I know some people will love the turtle guy and they'll want him back. But the truth is, the turtle guy was only ever temporary, chat. You must understand that turtles are not forever. There we go. Sorry, now I need to get this perfectly. Yeah, that was a good James Bond movie. Turtles are not forever. Thank you, chat member, for making this really nice um, logo that fits. Oh, this isn't... Oh, okay. I kind of sequence broke this puzzle. But yeah, Chad, it was beautiful. I'm a little tired, because I did a lot of driving and walking, but, um, and I had some stuff to do, too. I had to, like, get my oil changed and all that fun stuff. 
but um, it, it really was like, it's amazing how a nice day that's like 70 degrees Fahrenheit can improve the mood. I'm very grateful to have had a nice day. A couple in a row, in fact. Don't get me wrong, I, I too like to, um, I too like to sit on the computer and stay home and play games. I mostly like to do that, but then that can only go so far, and I need to go out for a little bit because I enjoy that. I need to go do some stuff, and then I can spend the required hours sitting at the computer. So I'm, I'm kind of like a little bit of um, a little bit of both. I like to do a lot of at-home stuff, and then I like to go out from time to time as well. But I'd still say I'm I'm mostly a homebody. I'm gonna lower the game just a little bit. Um So I I don't have a key for that part of the dungeon, and now I'm a little bit confused. I guess I really just kinda have to go backwards. Is there a way to just go back to the entrance of a dungeon in Wind Waker? The Ballad of Gales will do it. Well, someone said I, I missed something... ...earlier, so let's take a look. Deku Leaf opens many chests on islands. Oh god! Some people will love to see Tingle on fire. I take no pleasure in such a thing. For I know it could very easily be me. I mean, I am the same age as Tingle. In May, I will be older than Tingle. <laughs> what the fuck? Since March of last year, for unspecified reasons, um, time has felt both way too slow and way too fast. I know that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but to me it does. I feel like I've been stuck in some weird form of limbo, and yet, I'm like, how did we get here? It's like the movie Tenet. Actually, it's not. Um, I don't know where I missed the thing. When going through dungeons non-linearly, that are meant to be gone through in a specific kind of... Well, not all Zelda dungeons, but you know what I mean. Some of them have a uh, more linear structure. And then you don't... Like, you get stuff out of order. It's kind of confusing. Go to the far lava geyser and go under it. Lava geyser, go under it. Huh? Oh! 
Well, I wanted my head to appear smaller, and the easiest way to do that was to wear a big suit to make my body look bigger. Oh, thank, thank you, David Byrne. That's really cool. Vinny, mm. where the claws are. Okay, I'll, I'll take a look over there. Use the leaf to break this room, says chat member. The leaf is a balloon. That's amazing. This is such a good model. It comes with... Like, custom shield, custom sword, custom b uh, leaf balloon, that's so fucking good. Sounds, too. There is truly lots of effort put into a character that deserves none. <laughs> room there was a chest where you needed to burn some planks and then use the grapple to swing across the lava pit. I'm wondering if as a result of that like will I miss another progression item or like a full fucking heart? You know, you know what I mean? Like I feel like there's a chance that if I miss any treasure chest in a dungeon that's bad news bears. <laughs> And this chest will have like five rupees. Oh, we still need the rupees emote. Um, that sucks. It's not dead, it's just stunned! Oh. It's a key. You know what else it is? A kind of magic. To be honest, I'm not really a huge fan of a lot of late 80s Queen. There's some really good stuff in there, but it's not like consist consistent. I think the Innuendo album kind of got back on track. But for me, Queen like kind of fell off. Not too much. Like there was always a good song or two, but like they had a couple albums that I tried listening to in full, and I'm just like, oh, this became, like, st stadium cock rock. When I think stuff like, um, Queen 2, Sheer Heart Attack, Day at the Races, Night at the Opera, News of the World, a lot of that stuff was just much more interesting. Highlander soundtrack? Oh yeah, no, that's good stuff. I mean, this is just how I feel about it. There's always good stuff in there. 
Like, Queen, I don't think, ever really put out a bad album. But the stuff I come back to more often than not is the early 70s to late 70s stuff. That's the stuff I think they... They are consistently, like, just good. Um, uh-oh. How do I live? How does Made in Heaven work? I don't really like Made in Heaven all that much. They did what they could. Is chat doing Joseph's? Alright, I mean, do Joseph if you want, but hey, you should check out Queen, they're a great band. If that's the key, as I've said before, if that's the doorway to listen to great music, then go listen to it. But Made in Heaven is the album they put out after Freddy passed. Someone's trying to explain what the JoJo ability is. And I'm just like... You don't have to tell me what the actual thing is. Like, I don't really... You know, I don't know what that means. Um, someone said it's a very cromulent ability or something. And then I'm like, ah, yes. Of course it is. You would seriously enjoy JoJo, though. Says a chat member. You've been here for years. And you still hold that opinion? I mean, alright. If you say so. Is this where I missed the treasure chest? I'm assuming if I tried hard enough, I would enjoy anything, right? I mean, well... Isn't that just life? It's like, anything can be, uh... Something if you try hard enough. What's the quote? But I mean Jojo's I know it's good I know people like it that have good taste in that stuff, but I, it's just not for me. I don't think Vinny Omega blind go back and turn right. I need to look at the map more maybe. Oh Yeah, I really Omega blinded like several times Tingle what the fuck? But, um, chat, I also want you to know that not just JoJo's, but every anime, every game that I haven't played that chat wants me to watch or play, I've had people say, oh, you would like this. Now, you just need to watch 600 episodes, and then you'll really get into it. It happens. But then again, I recommend Star Trek to people, so, you know, that's like, god, what, 800 plus episodes of, t of television? So, that's kind of impossible to breach. That's why I usually recommend just, like, the next generation, and then if you like that, you can watch the rest as it's not really related. And then again, you can watch one of my favorite, and maybe this is like this for the Josephs, I don't know, but... One of my favorite things about Star Trek is that you can watch one episode. Most of the shows, you can just watch one or two episodes, and you have a beginning, a middle, and an end, and you don't need to know really anything else. You can just start wherever, check out a couple episodes, you have a, a dilemma, the dilemma is solved or not, you get some interesting food for thought, a character learns a thing, it's all very kind of, uh, Yeah. Vinny, um, come on, you fanboy, a Japanese game company. The culture is prevalent in the games. Lol, JoJo's more entertaining than TNG, I'm being honest, and I'm older than you. 
You're right, but, you know, that is predicated on you having exceptionally perfect taste. So, I don't know who you are, chat member, but if you have perfect taste in stuff, then that's cool. I do have- I love a lot of Japanese stuff. I do. Uh, most of my favorite video game companies are Japanese. It's fun to talk about JoJo. It really is. It's great when you talk about JoJo, and then people try to get me into it. Like, the reasoning is always really cool. It's always fun. And then it comes to, like, the comparisons between other things and JoJo are also extra fun. Like, Vinny, you like Star Wars. Come on, you like JoJo. You should watch it. JoJo's better than Star Wars. Vin, listen. You like the band Nirvana. I heard you talk about it. I, I know what the deal is. The JoJo uh, television show... I know it comes from a good place, because, like, I talk about the stuff I love. I mean, you actively have to come to my streams to hear this stuff. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. I like how this bird was sitting on a song. Um... I know it comes from a place of, I like this thing, the person I watch stream would like it too. That's why I talk about Star Trek. I love sharing it, because it's something that is... It makes me feel good. It's, uh... You know, it's a fun thing to watch. I enjoy it. I enjoy talking about it. I want to share it with people. I like having conversations about it. But I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna, like, force people to try to watch it. You know, it's not for everyone. But I know it comes from a place of, I want to share this thing I like with the streamer I like. He might enjoy it and get the similar level of joy. It's not a spiteful thing. But I've noticed the way it happens can be a turn-off. So my advice is, like, if you want to share the thing you love... Just... I got a pair. Just be aware of how you do it, because that might inadvertently, and I'm probably guilty of this too, you might inadvertently turn people off to it. I'm, I, I've said it before, I'm, I'm sorry if I've turned off people to Star Trek. I didn't mean to, I just wanted to share a thing I like. But again, you know, it's like, the way I'll defend myself and I'll say, like, you know, you, you come to someone's stream that is notorious for talking about Star Trek, and then you get upset that they talk about Star Trek. It's like, dude, that's... There's gotta be... some self-awareness there. It's like going to Walmart and being upset at all the weird people. <laughs> oh, check this out. So, uh, today, I'm going to get a sandwich, right? S sandwich, sorry. And, um, I, I get the sandwich, and there's an ATM near this place. And it's like a strip mall. So it's kind of busy, there's a lot of foot traffic. And this dude, you know, tall dude, older guy, um, not wearing a mask, not that, you know, like, whatever, fine, he's outside, it's an outside thing. Um, the reason I say that is because I want you to get a mental image of what's happening here. And, um, some kid walks by with a Red Bull. Shit you not, this dude says, hey, 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 uh, excuse me, can you hear me? Because he had earbuds in. Hey, can you hear me? Can you hear me? And, and the kid's like, uh-huh, like, teenager. Did you know that Red Bull, they put something in it to stimulate your heartbeat? So that it beats really, really fast, and so that, you know, you... And it's like, huh? And he just, like, stopped this kid, who is clearly taking steps backwards away from him. And he's, like, trying to lecture him about how bad Red Bull is. Huh? 
so that was an interesting event that happened today. I only caught a little bit of the conversation. I, I just, I wish I could have been like... Like, whatever. Let the kid drink what he wants. One day he'll learn that Red Bull engorges your heart. What kind of sandwich was it? It was roast beef, chat. Ghost ship chart. Okay. But no, I, he did say something about a certain chemical that wasn't just about enlarging your heart. There was something he said that was really bizarre. And the thing is, like, maybe there was some truth to it? I don't know. Like, Red Bull doesn't taste natural. Like, there's definitely a battery acid element to it, but, like, dude... Taurine? Like, does your- like, what, what gets enlarged? Does, like, your- your testicles, like, your sperm get huge? Like, tadpoles? Like, what happens? Like, animals? Hmm. Well, in any case, weird- weird moment. Definitely a weird moment. the handle. Oh, because there's enemies in the pots. Oh. Vinny, I don't understand how people can stand the fucking taste of Red Bull in the first place. I- I hate it. I- I think it's really disgusting. I've had better energy drinks, but I- whatever, man. That's the thing, to each their own, but for me, with my objective taste, where everything I like is best like, um, that shit is just so non-Earth. Like, that's what I imagine the Energizer from Chrono Trigger tastes like. Like, you step into the Energizer, you get healthy, but you, you're still hungry. Sorry, the Inertron. I should know that. Of all people, I should know that. Yesterday was, I think, Chrono Trigger's 26th birthday. Right? Was it yesterday? Someone said, um, what's your favorite flavor of battery? Taurine. Which sounds like a Metroid level. Like, that's where the Metroids would be. In Taurine. Wait, Chad, do I... Is there another item inside? Oh, right, there it is, okay. That would have been the big key. Tingle's pretty good with a sword. I mean, uh, map. 
did he know that's the grappling hook? Okay. to randomizers. Check for treasure chests. Um, I think I need the compass for that, no? How about down here? Would there be an item down this way? I think the compass is the only thing left. Oh, that's a good point. That's the boss key route. Um... first, and then if I'm... I can use the warps to get back. Let's get whatever item the boss is gonna give, and then, uh, warp. There's one chest on the way to the boss key from here. Okay. Well, there's also this. This could be the compass. Um, secret cave chart. Master sword, master sword, no. Hey, that's pretty cool. I'll take a piece of heart. Cutscenes are, are out for speedrunning purposes. I actually forgot how to fight this fucking thing. Um, I'll figure it out. I think it, yeah. I remember. Oh, right, 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 right. I like how this, um, grappling hook is exactly as long as it needs to be whenever the story needs it to be that long.
tingle! I mean, quickly! I didn't even know you could kill with the grapple hook. It's the compass. How nice. Why is it the final day all of a sudden? Oh, yeah. I, I have to go back to the beginning of the dungeon. Vin, watch the clip. Okay. Ryan, look out! Okay. That was pretty good. Um, okay, chat. I thought that the warp would take me to the entrance of the dungeon. It didn't. Yeah, I missed, uh, two chests, apparently. Vinny, not sure if you noticed, but you're playing as Tingle. I'm sorry, who? Who the fuck is Tingle? shield is this? This is the Tingle shield. Whoever Tingle is. do you think of the Post Malone Pokemon collaboration? I, I... I didn't even know about that. I only know one Post Malone song. And I'm not the world's biggest Pokemon fan, so I have no input. I don't even know what the collaboration is. You sounded very defensive right now. I am defensive. What is Pokemon? 
I don't know why I sounded defensive. Chat is saying very weird things. He s sings about sex while Pokemon fly around him. I am so pissed. I am so pissed off. <laughs> is that fucking real? Three treasure chests. So is that the collaboration, or did the Pokemon company approach him after hearing the song? And they were like, you know what, Post? We want to collaborate with you. So we're gonna do a Pokemon-themed Post Malone in the future. How do you feel about that, Post? Sorry, my name is John Post. Ah, yes, John Post. Tell us, how do you feel about becoming your very own Post Malone Pokemon? There's a treasure chest here, but I don't know. Yeah. Go back. Bomb the wall. I don't have bombs. This is like, it's like Pokemon Go. Oh, it's in the top area. I got it. I can't buy bombs because I don't have a bomb bag. Oh, Tone, who are you calling a bomb bag? Walnut, please! Jesus. Um, it doesn't appear to be up here, either. Oh, I have to kill the enemies. Vinny, say the funny about Mr. Bucket. Nah, see, now that it's a request, it's no longer fun to do it. Vinny complain about Picard. I- that show fucking sucked. God, it ruined the character of Captain Picard so much. I mean, seriously, was there any reason for this show to exist? Chat, that wasn't- you don't have to actually land- That was a bit. It was a bit, chat. It was a bit. I mean, it's a real bit. You know, it's like a drill bit. this treasure chest is. Oh, it's 
says I'm right on top of one. Maybe it's underneath here? No. Above? No. Vinny, okay, now talk about Pink Floyd for 30 minutes. It's always 30 minutes when I talk about Pink Floyd. It's a full 30 minutes. Every stream of my four hours, it's a full 30 minute bit. Um, I, I usually talk about the same stuff, too. We go into analysis of Shine On You Crazy Diamond. Then I get upset at chat for JoJo's, and I tell them, Hey, it's okay. You can like the things you like, but don't be a dick about it. Um, and then we move on from there. And then Pokemon discussion. And then chat gets upset with me for, for liking cards. Do you like the older Floyd stuff? I like it a lot, actually. Come up with a brand new topic we've never discussed before. Erectile dysfunction is a problem that affects many Americans per year. That's why, Mario. You need to get Viagra. Vinny, you need bombs for the last two treasure chests. Do I really now? One of them is a hidden tingle chest. I really hope hidden tingle chests don't contain any progression items. Holy fuck, let me check the tracker. Or the, uh, the randomizer. Can't reach. Hmm. Alright, so it's time to leave. was asking if it's alright to play Red Vox without getting a copyright strike. I don't believe anyone is getting copyright strikes anymore. Well, it wasn't strikes, it was just getting claimed. They weren't, they weren't strikes. So, I said this before on stream, but what happens is when you get a distributor to send off all your music across the internet. The default option is to have it claimed. That is like the default option, and it's hard to actually undo that. I spent months trying to get the Redvox shit out of the copyright system. And... I did. And then someone would be like, Vinny, I, I got... this got claimed. And then I would email them and say, hey, we need to fix this. And it's like, oh, that was a single that we forgot to take out of the system. Like, hey, can you make sure everything is removed from the copyright uh, strike system? Again, let me clarify, I'm using the wrong words here. It's not copyright strike. It just gets claimed, which means that your video either gets muted, or this distributor gets the revenue, which I don't get most of it, and I don't need it. It's really fucking annoying. Um, because I've sent at this point, a dozen or more emails about this exact topic. The point I'm trying to make is, I want to say yes, and I think the answer is yes, because no one's contacted me. I know people have played it on their streams. I know I've gotten most of it fixed, but... It's the eternal fucking struggle. It, it's like a Sisyphean task to get this stuff removed from copyright. So, I hope I've managed to succeed at that. 
Vinny, I've played it without issue. Oh, good. All right, cool. Well, that's helpful. Um, a lizard didn't- a lizard didn't get claims. Vinny, did Picard really that bad? Let me tell you something. Picard really did that bad. I mean, no, seriously, its numbers were shockingly bad. They didn't even reveal how bad it did. But, um, I don't think a lot of people- I think it lost a lot of its- its viewers. I- yeah, I thought it was pretty bad. It had some cool stuff in it. It wasn't, like, completely terrible, um, at all times, but, yeah. It was pretty bad. I think, um, I think some people would disagree with me, and that's fine. I've already had plenty of people talk about how much they liked it. Hey, man, whatever floats your boat. You know what floats my boat right now? Tingle. Tingle is keeping this boat afloat. All right, let's take a look at the tracker and see where we can go next. Hmm. Probably not treasure charts yet. Uh. Has the map... Yes, you can see now, all over here. Cyclops platform. So there's, um... With the current items I have... Choo Choo Cave. Probably want to go there, yeah. That's, that's right this way. Let's go this way, chat. It's Beetle. I gotta see what's up with Beetle. Awful. Speak to the salvage guys for gifts as well. Salvage guys? Where's, where's those guys? These guys? Wait, who? This isn't a salvage guy. Who the f what are you doing here, Moblin? Thing to the left of the nearby island, okay? Oh yeah, these guys, yeah, yeah. Hoy. Why do you keep pulling out the claw? It's an accident. Clearly, chat member. Yeah. Treasure on the seafloor. Uh, you won't get any from us. Like your style. Din's Pearl. Wow! Okay, that's a pretty, uh... That's a pretty insane thing to randomly get. I checked it off already, Dave, so you don't have to worry about it. Bye. 
I guess they found it on the ocean floor in this timeline, sure. One of the most important story items in the entire game. I figured out how to check off everything, by the way. Cool. If you want to, it's easy for me too, but if I miss something, if I'm in the middle, I'll check off some stuff when I can, but if I'm in the middle of, like, immersing myself in the game, then uh, I'll let you know. It really isn't as much effort as I thought it would be. I, I was being a baby. I'll be the first to admit. Sure, there's a couple times where I don't want to click over and I just want to keep playing, but you just click. You, you just click. Uh, you know, it's okay. I was... You know, wow. Babu. Babu frick. Master Sword. Oh, that's good. More rupees is, is always fantastic, considering I've been getting dozens of rupees, dozens of thousands of rupees. What's your favorite original series Star Trek episode? I like City on the Edge of Forever. Go. The Corborite Corbinite maneuver. I always forget which one it is, but that one's pretty good too. Favorite Soundgarden song? I think I mentioned this on stream. I, I really like uh, Burden in My Hand. So, I have four Tingle statues. Is that all Tingle statues? There's one more. Okay. How much do you want to bet that I will get the last Tingle statue? Like... Right at the end of the fucking run. Or never. Visit Great Fish Island for Deku Leaf Chest. Good to know. Well, I mean, I know where to visit. There's a lot of locations on the map I could check off now. So, give you an example Beetle Shop, Paw Print Island Platform, Salvage Core. So, if I can do that. Get rid of salvage core. Um, we need to do that. And then here, there's four items. <laughs> Treasure chart. Which, you know, there can be like part pieces in there. Nothing progression worthy, but helpful nonetheless. <laughs> Knees. Weak. Because of Valheim, I wanted to put my sword and shield away so I'd run faster. And then I realized, no, nope, wrong game. So wait, I got four then, yeah? What's four? Yep, that's four. Double 
check that off. Vinny, do you agree that Zelda is underrepresented in Smash? Well, yeah. Yeah, it's Link, Link, Link. Zelda, Zelda, Ganon. Now, there's, you know, it's fine. You, you have the main characters. And you have many forms of Link, which is great. They're not underrepresented, but it's like... I would like more variety. I wouldn't mind having, like, Impa. Or the King. Or, like, Skull Kid with Majora's Mask or something. Like, there's a lot of really... I mean, look at Hyrule Warriors. Hyrule Warriors, like, obviously goes to the hilt. But... There's some, like, genuinely great characters in Zelda lore that are, like, fun... That could be fun to play as. Villains, too. Um, well, I mean, Hira him maybe. But... I think the main ones would be, like, uh, a Goron. There are many Gorons you could choose from, but, like, the ones from Breath of the Wild come to mind, of course. Then there's, um, Impa, which I think is the best choice. And Impa's kind of been there from the beginning, think about it. Wouldn't Impa be another Sheik? In Hyrule Warriors, Impa is very much her own character. Which one? I mean, uh, the Breath of the Wild one. Yeah, I guess Warriors isn't the best metric, but it's, you know, something. I'm just checking off some treasure chests. We got the Tingle treasure chests, the Dancing Person, Maggie the Lover, Wealth House chest. We got that. Side quests? There's a lot of side quests. I'm looking for an island that has the most possibility. Crescent Moon Island. Including Ghost Ship. Oh, you have to interpret the maps. I forgot about that. I mean, yeah, Tingle is the one who interprets the maps, so we have to go see Tingle to interpret the maps. There's a special beetle ship at Rockspire Island. You should go check it out. We're gonna go north first. Such a great, like, fitting piece of music. Whoa! Two pearls? 
in like 10 minutes? Holy shit. Yeah, that's a little crazy. Someone said open pokey cards now. Do you remember the viewer last night who was like, Vin, I know where I can get where you can get Pokemon cards. They were like $16 a pack. That's not MSRP. Um, Pokemon cards are like four to five dollars a pack. <laughs> Anything else is like scalper rates. I appreciate it. The chat member was just looking out for me. They were trying to be helpful, and I appreciate that. But yeah, they, that was um, that was a scalper price. Gouge away. You can gouge away. Someone said I can get them for five dollars Canadian. Might be cheaper U.S. They don't sell loose packs of Shining Fates, which are the new uh, the new cards, the new expansion that everyone's losing their shit over with the Charizard. So you have to buy a tin or an ETB or you know craziness. So you can't buy loose. Oh God, they're so loud. Tingle just has to keep killing. Not just for survival, but because he loves it. Not progression, but God, I'm gonna need plenty of those for the, for bosses. Okay, so we can check off that location. Ghost chip. Once you get the ghost chip. Wait, that doesn't- that's not the ghost chip. Ah, oh, fuck. That was barrel. Um, ah, oh, fuck. How do I undo... I accidentally clicked on- Oh shit. It is... Right click? I can't... Just click again. It's gone completely. Shift and right click. Oh, there we go. Thank you, chat member. Well, shift and right click doesn't work, but I can see it. I can pin it. But it won't let me um, undo that I've... Oh, I, I have to... Huh? No, that's that's not working still. Left click. No. You can do the ghost ship now, you have the chart. I'll just do the ghost ship then. Um, I'm surprised the submarine wasn't an option up here. I'll just do it next, it's fine. Um, but then we have to find the ghost ship. I don't remember how to read this chart. So it's there. I'm looking for it. it should be an island. 
big blind, it was right on the map. You need the bow to fight what's on the ghost ship. It appears now. Vinny, it says on the map. Am I dumb? Oh, it's, yeah, it's right there. Okay. Well, we can... We can get there quickly. We have wind on our side. I'll tell you what, as much as I love Default Wind Waker, it's kind of amazing to not have to, like, play the wind song and do the raid song every time someone joins your ch uh, every time you need wind. It was an instinct to play the wind song. Would you say the Wii U remake is better? Uh, in many ways, I thought it was better, yes. It, it has some quality of life stuff, and the visuals are gorgeous. Mostly. Um, I think it's great, but it's on the Wii U, so have fun with that. You know, have fun finding one, uh, and then getting the game. But the truth is... It's good on Dolphin, too. Remaster, not a remake. Correct. shield. Well, why the fuck is my tracker telling me I can go to all these places? You can use that light.
don't know where these hearts came from, but thank you. Jesus, the whiz rope doesn't like to be too close to the ground. And you don't forget you have a shield. I always forget I have a goddamn shield in this game. One down. Fuck's sake. sloppy. It's a trial by fire, you know what I mean? Like, if I'm gonna have to do more intense combat later, it's probably best I did this now. be. Well, at least it's not going to waste. I can still use it. You've got... Two letters for Tingle. Melody is at Beetle. Beetle is selling Command Melody. Very nice. We need that. I can I afford that? So maybe I will need some more of them rupees. Oh, is that a... That's weird. You need 500 rupees at least. Someone said 950 rupees. Yeah, I didn't know they flied now. 
fly now? Five hundred, nine fifty, nine hundred. like monkey ball, but tingle balls. Glitched. Ah. one two oh good well that was nice Progression item. Iron boot. Good reward. There we go. Tracker update. Thank you again, Dave, for doing this. Wind Temple is available. Lots of... lots of stuff is probably available. I guess this is Bomb Island. This is Bomb Island Platform Obliterate Enemies. Well, fuck it while I'm here. Get rupees for the song. Um, I'll get rupees naturally. There's probably some good rupees over there now that I think about it. Uh, yeah, I'd probably just missed some good ones. 
Vinny, is this on original hardware? Yeah, I just, um... I took a piss on the cartridge and Tingle appeared. It was the weirdest thing. Yep, my Wind Waker cartridge that I put in my Nintendo GameCube disk system. No, I, I'm sorry, chat member. That was just too good of an opportunity to pass up, and it was a bad joke. The truth is... I am playing this on a perfectly real GameCube console, Game Console TM. And I have purchased Wind Waker twice in my life. Once on the GameCube game system, and once on the Wii U gaming entertainment system as well. Nice. Oh man, we're getting some good luck on this stream. I'm worried the next 12 chests are all gonna be rupees. Or like joy pendants. Oh god. I'm looking around right now for more places. Horseshoe platforms. Boating course raft. Five star islands. What's the moves for your band this year? Um... Due to... I... No. Listen, it's hard to say because things got delayed because of um, reasons. And also, I you know I need to be able to like take some time to write the damn songs. Uh, but we are, I think, unless any new ones crop up, we have so far a 12-song album, and we are balls deep in it right now. So, that's my answer. I don't want to go above 12. I think 12 songs is a good amount of songs. And, you know, sometimes new, new ones happen while we're recording, and then that would maybe bump something off. That said, I, I think this year may be a single, hopefully. bonus track? Well, we may release some stuff that's not on the album. As singles. I'm not sure, though. I don't know. I, well, I mean, again, I hope people like it. I like what we're doing right now. And uh, one of the reasons I like it is because I get to use all of my guitars. And we get to use different sounds for each one. Including um, a 12-string guitar. A 12-string Dan Electro which is my current favorite in my arsenal. It's new, and, uh... I like... I like it. So that's the first time we're using any 12-string on, on our albums. Pretty slick boat you got there, kid. You want to play a boat game? Okay. Um, am I t too fast for this? Yeah. Vinny, you don't win a prize from this, are you sure? Is it just rupees?
Well, we needed the rupees. So then, um... Over here, it says... What? Boating course raft. What the hell is boating course raft? Just a raft near the boating course, one of these perhaps? Oh, I see it. I can't take out this giant octopus. There we go. Heart piece. It's fine. I mean, it's, again, I didn't even have to do anything, I just had to, like, get here. If the amount of effort for getting a heart piece is just, like, sail over to a raft, I'm fine with it. If it is complete a dungeon, I would be pissed. Visit Great Fish Island for Deku Leaf chests. I will. I'm gonna hit um, the five star islands first. Fury Bowser. Yeah, every time it rains, Bowser's Fury comes to mind. if you could collaborate with any musician alive or dead who would it be uh did you know paul mccartney's new album they're doing a remix album and uh beck damon albarn i think saint vincent i'm not sure josh homie and a bunch of other people are going to be doing remixes of all the songs it's kind of cool Who would I collaborate with? I, I, I'm good. I'm, I'm not really much of anything. I don't think I'd want to ruin someone else's day with my collaboration techniques. Um, it says here for Five Star Island, it's a raft. Oh, I'm not even in the right spot. Well, it's it's not just that. It's also my my skills. I can write my own songs, but I don't know if I'd collaborate with someone famous without like I'm not even in the right spot. Where the fuck am I? 2i platform free chest. Oh, okay. I like Damon Albarn quite a bit. I probably I I mean he's a very good collaborator. And, uh, I'm not putting myself on the same level as any of these people, because that question is loaded. But, I- I love, uh... Obviously, I'm a big Gorillaz fan. So... yeah, maybe Damon. Oh, and Blur. I love Blur, as well. But, I'd still be really nervous, and I'd, I'd probably shit my pants, like David Lynch once said. Damon can sample the sound of it, and then he can, like, put it through some... trippy-dippy synthesizers.
I'm pretty sure for one of Damon's um, solo album songs, he sampled the sound of a guitar pick stuck in his acoustic guitar and just swished it around and used that as percussion. Favorite Blur song. The only song they have, Blur Song 2 song. Also, am I missing something? Is there supposed to be a treasure chest up here? No, my favorite, uh, my favorite Blur song is... I like, uh, God, I like too many to count, but I like Caramel. Caramel's great. Ghost Chip is great, yeah. I like Badhead on, um, Park Life. I like No Distance Left to Run. I like Beetle Bum. Just a sampling. Tracy Jacks is great. There's a big octo. I can't do anything about big octos. Octolings, maybe. Big octos, not so much. Okay, now, well, not yet, no. To be safe, I need like 900 rupees before I go to Beetle Shop. Um, well, we got this. Outset Island, we got those. Beetle ship, we didn't get. Horseshoe platforms. We can do horseshoe platforms. I'm only gonna play this another ten minutes or so, because FTL, I don't want to, you know, go too far into the night with FTL, but... Why does the compass do these things? Compass is showing east on the bottom left there, but I'm going west. and he can't read a compass. Um. Well, hang on a minute. This is north, then. If I do this, I'm going north. Compass works great. I, I'm a dumbass. Nope. Compass is working fine. Absolutely fine. Would you be excited if they made another game like Wind Waker? I would. I mean, we already got... 
a semi... Well, we got a sequel in some ways. I mean, Phantom Hourglass is pretty great in its own way. I guess there's no way out of this. Oh, God. I wouldn't say Phantom Hourglass is a, like a sequel. I mean, it is, but... It is, but it's also... Isn't it a different Link many years later? Or is it the same Link just a few years later? Or am I getting Spirit Tracks confused? Oh, okay, it is, it's is—it's a direct sequel. I, I got Spirit Tracks confused. Never mind. Yeah, it's the same thing. Um, same Link. Spirit Tracks was many, many, many years later when there became ground. Well, I haven't played Phantom Hourglass since it came out, but I do remember enjoying it, even if, you know, I wasn't crazy about some of the, like, limitations. Like, I kind of want to just sail the open sea, not draw where I have to go, but... It was nowhere near as annoying as, um, Spirit Tracks was. I meant Phantom Hourglass, whatever I just said, but yeah. How did I manage to do this? That's impressively, like, fucked up. gonna play Skyward Sword on the Switch. Um, I, I haven't 100% decided yet. Some min chat may be like, well, yeah, you, obviously you are. You're Vinny. Uh, but I don't... I don't... Yeah, maybe. I just want to see if any other changes are in the game. Like any quality of life things. More than likely, yes. But... I don't know. I guess Skyward Sword hasn't been the most exciting prospect for me. Um, it's it's good, but it's not my favorite. I just let's see if they remove some of the insane tutorials. Don't you love the game telling you the value of rupees and treasure chests every time you reload the game? It does so much right, and yet the things that it does wrong happen every time you play the game. And, uh... I mean, people... 
kind of complain about Wind Waker's, like, Great Ocean, maybe not- or Great Sea, maybe not having as much stuff as, like, I don't know, Twilight Princess's overworld. And yeah, a lot of times you're just sailing, but there's a lot of islands, there's a lot of little things, there's a lot of things that happen on the Great Sea to keep it somewhat interesting. <laughs> There could be even more. What does Skyward Sword do right? Um, great dungeons. The upgrade system is cool, like the sh for the shields. Um, good story. Weird characters, like Bruce and that bat dude. Um, the flying is pretty cool, some great music. Good puzzles. Um, the time shifting, I think, was great. Girahim is cool. Um, say what you will about the combat when it's good and it works, like when the combat actually fucking functions, which it, it mostly does, it can be kind of rewarding. Chat, there's apparently another treasure chest here. Press switches. It's outside. No, I'm gonna keep him. He's my new pet. Oh, there it is. But, um... Oh, the overworld being kind of empty and crusty is, is one of the main missed opportunities. Like, I get it, it's the sky, there's floating islands and everything. Yeah, I'll have to change the wind. Um, but... Skies of Arcadia? Oh, you gotta be shitting me. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh. So... Anyway, I really love Skies of Arcadia, and, uh... That game had a really interesting... Sky. I mean, it's in the name. And Chrono Trigger had good floating islands, too. I wish it was more like that, and less like what we got, which was just emptiness and clowns. And clouds. Skies of Arcadia remaster supposedly leaked. Huh? Got a source on that, my friend? Big doubt. The Skies of Arcadia hold up. Always been curious about playing it. Um... Yeah, the GameCube version's good because it lessens the enemy encounters. But it's still, like, turn-based RPG. I think it holds up. Last time I played it, it was still really fun. I love the story, the music. Um, the ship battles are phenomenal. But... I guess it depends on how much you like traditional JRPGs with, uh, good exploration. Because that's kind of what Skies of Arcadia is. <laughs> I 
octo chart. Okay. At some point we'll probably need that. Vimo? All right, we're going to save here. Let me just save my, uh, I think I can save the loadout, right? Layout. Does anyone know how to save the tracker? Um, I'm using emo tracker. Export progress. Uh, file save. I found it. It was just hidden in like. Um, it was hidden in a menu. So I got Majora's Mask one, and now I have WW one. So MM one and WW one. Well, anyway, uh, thank you for watching, chat. <laughs> Let me just save this. Do, do a safety save. FTL up next. We're going to use a new ship. Okay. Chat, be right back. FTL, thank you for watching Wind Waker. And I will now go to space. From the ocean... to space. Stick around for a little bit, if you want. Have I used this for a BRB, by the way? I don't think I have. Alright, great. Here we go.